So I'm going to get right into product because we have a lot to show. Oh, before product, we're going to talk about bestsellers. So that's really good to know. And on your screen, you're going to you're going to see the very first style of it's one of our best sellers is icon and icon was so good for so many reasons and we also added another couple of uppers for you to see this as you'll see later on in the presentation popular amazing construction unbelievably comfortable laga of course named after the lady lady gaga and it was super comfortable we've got some new uppers there for you a star a star was unbelievable she's shabby chic you've got sumaka and all of her siblings you've got slides new uppers there and also new back straps tanja we have another great style for you that's a triple treat of uh, velcro so that was one of our best sellers there's number six Wildcat, um, unbelievable again, a little bit higher, but because of that front platform, she really proved herself to be an all-day comfort style with adjustability in both places. Astra was the same construction and is the same construction as our number two style, so we've got two on that construction in the top ten. Parshell, close style, she's unbelievably comfortable all day. You've got longevity as far as sell-through and seasonless. And also on the top ten, you've got Americana, as you know, she comes from Gloss. She's a sibling, a direct sister to Gloss, and we're going to continue with her as well. Okay, so now we're going to get right into product, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the trends going on. You know that we're in a comfort trend. It's continuing, but we're seeing uh, people go into more casual styles, as many of you have booked in some of the shows that we've been in. We're getting some amazing sell-throughs, and also I want to keep in mind, I wanted to tell you to keep in mind that book early. You can book for early delivery. We're placing orders for production that will come in earlier than spring, but it's limited. So the first people who get their orders in are first served. And you've got your holiday. You've got your snowbirds that come down to see us. So if you're in a cold climate, don't be afraid to bring in some sandals. And don't be afraid to bring in some of those sparkly party shoes that people come down and visit in the southern climates, including both east and west coasts. So we're going to start with the dress styles. And that's perfect for our proms and weddings and all those really nice things that come with the warm weather. And the first style is poster metal. You can see what makes her so beautiful. She's got metallic uppers. She's got hook and loop closures. And I'm just going to point out this super cool heel. So she has an enamel type look and effect that you can see black and white contrasting and all all edged in a gold, a really nice pretty gold. You've got metallic in a beautiful metallic um, snake type skin and then you also have your hook and lip closure here and then a pretty embellishment, almost a diamond. We're going to call her diamonds but we all know that she's a crystal. Second style, we're calling her Chavi. So for the gals who want to cover their feet all the way, maybe she's not you know, that thrilled with the way her feet look. She's perhaps been in a boot all year and maybe she just wants to, you know, finally come out and introduce the toes to a little air. You've got this, be this really beautiful, full coverage, sexy, sexy little kitten heeled, all in gold. She has our signature rainbow stitching all the way around. You can see your peep toe there as Angie will turn around and show you what that looks like. And then of course, we've got these wonderful square parachute spots that add a little bit of a pizzazz, maybe a little bit of a um, sassiness to her. And then, of course, you've got your contrast toe right in the front. This next little girl is called Chatel. So Chatel is lace, and I'm not sure, I'm going to try to put her in as close as I can. She also has a really nice but more structured kitten heel. She's also an ena like an uh, enamel type of a base and she's wrapped entirely in gold on all four sides and she has lace trimmed in the leather all the way around the front you can see her mostly in the in Francis's foot when you when we see her in the off-white color and then of course in the black you've got a little bit more of a you know a darker coloration where the once the foot is inside you can see a little bit of that lace effect pretty pretty buckles as far as very very dressy you've got a rectangular crystal all the way around buckle oh and a padded back strap oh one more thing she's hook and loop we've heard a lot a bit about heels we've heard a lot a lot about comfort everything is going down a little bit you're going to see a lot of uh, 
uh, lower heeled styles coming and going into the fall and following into the spring. So we wanted to make sure that in this particular heeled style, and what we've been showing you are really fancy heels, right, for this, this past few styles and for the next few styles that we're gonna show you. In this particular style, Illuminata, she's got a, an amazing, amazing, chunky, sexy, there's almost like a thumbprint on the inside in that metallic. But every shape of stone and crystal stone that you can think is, is going on in there in this nice low chunk. She's got hook and loop closure with a pretty um, antiqued uh, buckle. And she also has jewels and a patent front and toe. So the jewels are all um, bezel set and there's different shapes. There's a rounded, a flat, a pointy, almost like a pyramid. And then of course you've got your uh, wrap all the way around on that midsole is also patent. Her sister is a slide. We always like to do a combination of both a slide and a back strap because you know a lot of people can't do that grippy thing with their toes so they really expect the slides. <coughs> and then some people just like, like we like down here, we like to slip our feet in and out of shoes pretty easily so that's where the slides come through. It's got that same fantastic jeweled heel and that block heel, lots of padding little bit of a squared off toe as the same as her sister before and this is dreamy and then you've got all of the etching and cut out laser cuts in the front and also the same bezel set stones check out lovely miss <coughs> excuse me so lovely miss the, the main thing about her there's a lot to talk about here so let, let me see where I'm going to start so first of all her upper where you have great coverage, as you can see in Angie's foot. So any kind of foot issues your gals might have will be covered and really secluded and, and securely um, hidden, I want to say, within that top vamp. She is not only embroidered with some really pretty um, sequins, but she's on lace. So all of this lace is embroidered with the sequins. She's got a contrast toe. Okay, in a, in a printed leather. She's got your painted leather up the center and look at the heels. So these are really incredible heels that you can see through an enamel base and it's a very dimensional heel. And one more thing, you've got a welt with silver studs. Her sibling has a similar upper. She is a backstrap, it is adjustable. But in this case, the heels are jeweled. So before where we had just a, an overlay of a silver, this overlay, so as she's overlay and top and bottom, like even on the inside, I don't know if you could see that. Even on the inside, that's all an overlay silver, real shiny, shiny. But you also have the jewels here. So on one color, you've got your colored jewels, and then on your black, you've got your black jewels. And this is called Oh Wow. So many of you had uh, this next style called Jewel. And we know how great Jewel performed for everybody that had her. She has hook and loop, and she also has all these great diamonds in not only the both straps, the front strap, but look at the heels. So she's got a super duper curvy heel. She's really, really sexy all the way through. And then we added two new colors. And the reason I'm showing them to you separately is because these are the multis. So what Frances has on her foot now is called the red multi. So it's the same exact upper as Jewel, but in this case, and it's the same heel, but now we have her not only in a blue multi, but also in this really pretty red sort of pink and orange um, multi as well. And believe it or not, with a few feedback that we're getting on her is that she's pretty much an all-nighter. We're not going to call her an all-dayer like we like to call some of our styles, but she's an all-nighter for that special occasion. Next style is smashing. Smashing comes in three colors, and I just want to point out that in your catalog, we added a late edition so you won't see the ice, but look how great she is. So make a note, please, in your catalogs that we are adding the ice uh, multi in here, and the fact of the matter is she's smashing and that's how she got her name so she's got hook and loop on both straps both the front and also the ankle strap she's got a really nice little wavy back strap so she's got a little bit of design element there not only when you're coming are you looking beautiful but you're when you're going you're also looking double beautiful because of the heel and also because of that great um uh midsole which is not only metallic, but she's also got a snake print going on. Next style is Wildcat. So many of you have done very well with Wildcat. She's number seven on our bestseller list. So if you haven't tried her yet, um, you really need to give her a test. She's California construction. She's lightweight. She has hook and loop 
not only in the front strap, but oh, very strong, but also on the back strap. And she's got a, a little bit of a, a belt loop effect on the back. So this back strap is in a belt loop, which is super cool. And she's also got that, she's got her name from Wildcat being that she has this wonderful Wildcat uh, leopard print. We wanted to give her a sibling, so she's sort of a cousin, really, and that's Swirl and Twirl. Swirl and Twirl is a similar construction. She's got a midsole that's a totally different um, print than you have on not only the front strap, which is a metallic, almost like a little bit of a patent effect, but now you have your hand-painted printed leathers up here. You have a stretch um, underneath in your buckle, and you've got great full coverage on your vamp. So she's super cool. You've got an overlay on the back side of a stacked type heel. Another winner for us has been Amora. Amora has been in the line and that's always been a strong style for us and she's still going strong. We kept her in the metallics and we wanted to add a new color here. So we added a fuchsia metallic and you can see that she's got, a, she'll probably have a lot of longevity for you because of that dark, those plummies, the Bordeaux, a little bit of a black, some chars in there. And she is a back zip. So she's easy in and out. And this is what we're calling, I kind of call her like our sort of an eight hour comfort heel and wonderful foot coverage for the gals who don't want to show their full foot. So we're going to move right into a little bit of a flat style. So many of you over the years have tried our classic. We've done her in many, many different materials and leathers over the years. In this particular case, we wanted to keep her with the tassels, the leather tassels, and you also have the back leather here. And then you have a satiny, like a really dressy sort of satiny print all the way around on the front. And you have her in two soft colors. We have her in a yellow and a blue. I love the fact that there's movement here. Um, we have a, a way to wear her dressy if your gals want to wear a flat in a, in, with their slacks or even in, with their shorts and dresses. And she's got a rainbow stretch um, V gusset on the side, on both sides. So she's got a lot of movement and a lot of comfort. Our line wouldn't be complete without something along the way of a cowgirl. And you know how much we love our cowgirls and we're more urban-y than we are authentic. So here we have Flirtini, and what's so special about her, aside from what you see visually, she does have the outside, it's an overlay right going on in here where you have your, your printed leather over the metallic, but she's a, she's a combination of leather printed and also this really soft, smooth microfiber metallic. She's very, very soft, she's very, very feminine, and she's super, super cute. I see a lot of the gals wearing them with their Daisy Dukes and their short shorts when you're going to some of these Coachella concerts and the a lot of the, we have a lot of um, outside and outdoor concerts here in Florida, and then of course you know that we always do an inside zip. Okay, salsa heel time, which is in style lux. So we've always done so well with our salsa heel. She is, I call her the salsa heel. She's really just a wider, more sturdy, chunky kitten heel. She does have your hook and loop closure and she has an embellishment, an antique brass embellishment here. And what I want to point out is they're all metallics. So the three colors that you're seeing here and what we're trying to do is show you all the colors here and then one of the colors on model. So you can really see the assortment as you would buy her and how they may sit in the store. So if you wanted to buy all three colors, you may place the rainbow in the middle and then you have your green and your beige on the ends. But there's open laser cuts all throughout the front and they go all the way around into the back as well with a different design in the laser cut. And then you also have, of course, your scalloped edge for a little softness, very feminine, really pretty, and the two-tone heel will um, coordinate with each other as far as matching the upper materials. We also wanted to show you a pump in that same salsa heel. So here you have Francis showing you our pump. You've got like a starburst effect in the front. You've got that curvy salsa all day heel and a little bit of a doily sort of rickrack, very, very feminine, very, very small dainty edging all the way around front to back along with a little bit of a pull um, piece to help you get your um, shoe on easily. And even the insoles, you can see there's really a nice floral design on all the insoles on, on the styles with lots of padding, of course. Bewitched. Bewitched has been a key item 
and she's seasonless. So you know that we do bewitch, Bewitched each season. We do her not only in summer colorations, as we show you here, with a little bit of a snake print. You've got your contrast little white scalloped edge here, and you also have your tan and your beige. And the reason you're seeing some funny laces here is because we're going to give you two laces. So your customers will have the option. Right now you see Angie with the satin lace, and imagine this in sort of an 1800s. She's got that, that saloon girl style, and she's wearing that, you know, her corsets, and maybe she's wearing a really feminine, frilly, lacy wedding dress. So this could be your wedding booty, and then, figure out how you might be able to wear her even with short shorts for a boot or a cowgirl effect, but more that sort of saloon girl as far as I see her. And then you also, if your gals don't want the satin lace, you can just switch it out and use a more classic lace. Sunny Sky is really cool, and she's a vintage memory for me. And for anybody who used to go to camp way back when and you did those pressed flowers or maybe just your folks kicked you out and made you you know collect flowers out in the garden and then you put them in books and you pressed them well here they are in the heel so how cool is that so you have your your um, lucite heel with the pressed flowers and then you have a translucent strap so the top strap is hook and loop really strong so you're very sturdy and it's a printed translucent strap so you can see those dainty daisies painted on the translucent strap and then you of course have your flower and in your buckle which has a little bit of um, give underneath here so you can adjust her for your size and then of course we had to do her also in a back strap style and the only change I want to point out here is that these buckles will match the uppers. They won't be contrasted. So you do have your quarter strap. She will have a padded back strap, and she will be hook and loop. Lots of padding on the footbed and a contrast lining, not only on the two, but around on, on the toe, not the two, and then all of that um, nice contrasting on that um, midsole. Everybody should be familiar with this next style, and she is visionary. So I'm going to give you all the colors available, and let's see if I can get her into here. So, oh, we have a wide screen. Okay, let's see. We can spread out all the colors. So this gives you a really great picture of our core basic style, which is visionary. She should be on every single order. She is all year round in certain climates and now I'm just going to take her away so you can see. So in the front part of the row you can see that you, ha you have more of your sort of basic core colors. You have a blue, the, the gray, a beige which is new and then also your black and then we did some high shades in the yellow, the green and also in a red, a really pretty red. Um, hook and loop, lots of laser cut daisies, of course comfort and then this is our all day salsa heel. So people who know me know that I have a lot of favorites, and um, we talk about them all being our children and, and how we have such love for everything that we develop, and I own so many of our styles, and when we're in the development process, we always have favorites, and I have a bazillion favorites. Well, Cameron is one of my favorites, and I think as you can see on Angie's foot, you'll see why. She's very vintage inspired. She's got a little bit of a wider peep toe. She also has your hook and loop strap here and your quarter strap. But what I love about her is, remember when there was the adult coloring books, when there was a trend for the adult coloring books and they have all the outlines and, and then you could paint inside? Well, this is what it reminded me of because it's an adult, all of this etching on the outside, um, and then you can see even part of the heel uh, we adult colored and we picked all of these really pretty pastel shades. So right now we're offering her in a beautiful mint and beige and we've had great success in the pre-bookings on her. Um, just basically because of how beautiful she looks on the foot and how unusual she is. Next style is Ella. She's a printed floral overlay and it has a little bit of shine here and there, it's a patent look. And then the other thing I want to point out is look at the footbed. So there's really cool sort of contrast etching also on the footbed. She's got a splayed heel, which is super, super cool. I'm going to give you a little bit of a measurement on this so you can get an idea on the platform. So to the top of the footbed, she's approximately 
just a little, like around four inches. But if you're really going to think about it, the, at the top of the footbed in the front, she's a little over one. So you're talking about a three inch pitch. And as you can see on Angie's foot, it's very slight as opposed to perhaps maybe the illusion of what this might be for a heel. So you have your patent touches. Um, in the front, you have your contrast footbed with some uh, lotus flower embellishment and etched in there. And then, of course, you've got your stones all around the front of the straps. And her sibling is called Reflective. So, of course, it's the same dimension as we just showed you. And in this case, we have the hook and loop closure um, for somebody who needs a little bit more sturdiness. We're getting a lot of attention here, mo mostly because she's super cool, she's really hip, she's got a lot of colorations, so your customers can wear her with lots of outfits, and she's different. And that's what our customers, we need to give them reason to buy. And between Reflective and Ella, and just about all the styles that we've been talking about so far, there's plenty of reason to buy the Lartis brand. Next style is Savvy Chic, and we have five colors here. Think if I can fit them all on the screen. Okay, there we go. So, very, very classic, really, really simple as far as colorations. But when you get down into the nitty gritty details of her, this is a leather cutout, all laser cutouts, over a really cool mesh. So as you can see on Francis's foot, you've got a little bit of the grin, the grin through of the foot in there, but it's very subtle. So that's what makes her so cool and so special. The colorations are great. We're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of people loving this red. We're going for the high shades, the reds and the turks. Okay, and it's the same dimensions as we, sh as we talked about earlier, as far as the measurements. And here you have your basic colors and then a little two of your high shades, and that's your Savvy Chic. Do you remember in the Azura line, we had a really nice uh, embroidered style and she did extremely well. Well, it kind of cheated a little and wanted to bring something over into the L'Artiste line that was almost exactly the same, but in hand-painted leather. And that's what makes this so special. Pinwheel has been just about on everybody's order. And some of the reasons why is because, A, she has great foot coverage, great security, back strap, hook and loop, and also even a fun sort of stitching hand-painted detail on the footbed. But the colorations that I want to point out, especially in the lighter colors, they really show up beautifully. That's all hand-painted design. So in addition to the laser cuts, you've got the purples, oranges, a little bit of pink looking there, fuchsia. But the soft gray, the white, and the tan, it's amazingly beautiful. And then the back has the two-tone heel. So you have the bottom part of the heel, which is stacked. And then you have the upper part, which is leather, and has sort of a yin and yang hand-painted uh, wavy design. And then her sibling in the same construction, which many of you have had this past season, is Art Deco. Art Deco was so terrific for us that we added this new blue color. And for those of you who have not had Art Deco before, some of the details that we want to point out is anytime we have a lace, you know that she's totally adjustable. So for your gals who have a fuller foot, you just open her up for the, the girth of that foot of whatever she's needed. And in this particular case, with the back zip, you zip herself in and um, zippity doo da you go. Oh, the heel height is, Larry just asked me for heel height, it's about three inches here in the back to the top of the footbed. And in this particular case, she has um, like about a, not quite a half an inch front platform. I know everybody has tried Shelly over the years. Shelly seems to just keep on going. The reorders that we have on her are um, unpa unparalleled to many of our other styles. And one of the reasons I think is because she's really, really super cool. She has that sort of younger look that any, any, person at any age, she is totally ageless can wear. She's adjustable, so you have your, your hook and loop. I'm, I'm partial to the white, I love the white. Whoops, I'm outside the screen here, sorry about that. Okay, so you have your hook and loop here, adjustability. She's got great, great padding. This leather is, I don't know if you can see how smushy and delicious she is, but she's got delicious leathers and she is just adjustable all over the place, okay? 
the heel, if you can't see the heel, she's got a little bit of a notch going on there. I don't think this is the best color to show you. Let's see. Let's take her out here. Look at how cool the notch is here on this back. And anybody who tries her on says, holy moly, she's really, really comfortable. And that's what makes her reorder so well. So if you can get her on your customer's foot, she's a sale. And perhaps she comes back for a second color. And because of the success that we've had in Shelly, we did want to add, based on popular demand, we wanted to add a new upper. In this case, she's just a, a pretty classic style where you have your hook and loop with the flower, and there's a really pretty stone on the inside. And then you also have a sort of plainer strap. You've got metallic front in the toe and all along the outsole. And that's that same Shelly strap, tons and tons of padding. And then it's almost like a puffy effect. So this leather is like a puffy leather. And she also comes in these three core fabulous colors. Where do you see this next style, you guys? So many of you have seen her in the shows, and I know she's made quite an impact. So this first style that I'm going to show you, and she does have a sibling, this is Colossal. I, I don't know. I don't know how to ex describe how cool she is. So I'm going to just tell you some of the details. She's got a squared off toe. She's got a squared off heel in the back, in the bottom. Lots of padding. Totally, totally great foot coverage. This particular upper is a pin dot hand painted pop art sort of, sort of design. And then the leather, not only at the bottom of the footbed on the top, which is the top of the um, outsole, is you've got two layers. So she's rolled, contrasted, and then at the welt, it's the same thing. So design-wise, she's got so much cool stuff going on. And then, of course, she does have a stretch welt V on the, on the inside for a little bit extra, extra comfort. And as far as cool, the coolness factor, there is no other coolness factor. I'm going to give you the height because I know you're all going, oh, my gosh, she looks a little tall. So on the top of the footbed, she's approximately four and a quarter. And then this particular uh, flat platform at the top is um, one and three quarters. So when you're talking about the pitch, and you can see on Angie's fit, it's not really that big of a pitch, right? And then look at her sibling. Look at her sister. So her sister is the backstrap style, and she's called Go Get 'em. And you know why? You know, just between Colossal and Go Get 'em, now we, we just had to give them really great names. Same construction. She is hook and loop. She does have a really pretty flower um, antique brass um, embellished buckle there that's decorative. And I want to point out some of the pretty hand painting. You can really see her. So it's really very, very balanced. So you have a center hand painting design there. And then on either side, you have a really pretty um, similar design. It's almost like a fern with abstract flowers. This is all a hand paint, well, I can't see it, hand painted strap there. And then even on the bottom part of the heel, it's the same hand painted design. So, you know, every season we like to have that wow, wow, wow piece. This is the wow, wow, wow uh, sisters. Okay, so we're still staying pretty tall, pretty lightweight here. You've got dreamt. Dreamt comes in two pastel -y colorations. Look how, I mean, look at how great they go with my blouse. You can see sort of the blouse, the colors are all blending. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, this is a hook and loop here and also in the front strap. So she opens all the way up and you can see that really pretty hand painted footbed. You can see her on Francis's foot. She's got a really nice jute uh, metallic slash rainbow stitch design right around the entire midsole there on the top of that one piece uh, wood wood looking outsole and there's I love everything about her especially the colorations and the way how comfortable she is and of course we do have her sibling her sister does have the back strap she is an adjustable back strap because she is hook and loop and she wraps around she also does have the hook and loop here so she's you're snug as a bug in there and th that same really pretty painted um, more of a tone on tone in the footbed and then when you get into the navy color which I think is really special you've got a little bit more reds and let me see if I can show you some of those reds in there can you see them in there yeah you see a little bit of a contrast right on that footbed okay I love I love the way these look and the way they feel and I also like that they're very very lightweight <coughs> 
So we talked about a star earlier. She's number four in our bestsellers report. And she does have hook and loop closure right here on your ankle strap. And also your top strap is also hook and loop. So you're adjusted right in there. You're snug, snug in there, depending on how your gal's foot swells or if she needs a, a little bit narrower. Because you know that we have a tendency, because we're Euro-sized, is that we're a little bit slightly wider in the, la in the last in many cases. But that's why you find so much adjustability in all of our styles, so that you can have greater sales across the board for all of your gals. You also see that shabby chic design where you have a contrast herringbone. You've got some painted laser stitching looks. And then, of course, all of your cabochon uh, embellished flowers on the top. Style Aromas is um, in the top 20. She's always been one of our very, very best constructions. She's extremely lightweight. She's very, very flexible. She's really comfortable. So for the gals who want a little bit of a heel, they don't want too big of a heel, this is the style for her. So Aromas comes also. She has a sibling that's a slide, and we'll show you her next. She has hook and loop here, so there's lots of adjustability, not only in the, around the ankle, but also in the toe. She's got a very nice, soft, cushiony microfiber, um, sort of a, a like a striated, mottled look there. And then you, of course, have a nice padded back strap. And what I like most about her is that she's pretty. She's really feminine, she's really pretty, and she's an all-dayer. Her sister is Summer Fun, and Summer Fun is the same idea. She's the same construction, but in a slide. So she's got that same flexibility. She has hook and loop closure here. She's also really, really pretty, a little bit more of an asymmetrical design up the side of the foot. And um, she's an all-dayer, and I just want to point out one more thing, that the top of the heel is also hand-painted to match the front. So coming and going, we always got you covered, and the colorations this particular season, we're really happy with the way that the colors came out because they're, they're not like bright, bright primary colors. There's sort of a softness to them, and that was done intentionally. Style Rossi is also top 15. She's number 13 as far as sell throughs this past season. And you can probably see why. She's super cool. She's super cute. She's got a really fun uh, rainbow bottom heel, very curvy, a little bit sexy. And she also, of course, has the hook and loop closure there. And look how pretty the footbeds are. They're all hand painted. I'm going to push her down here. So your, your blue, your gray, and your red all have very, very pretty hand painted uh, designs on the footbeds for that extra added appeal when she's um, on the shelves. And the other thing that I was looking at earlier is what a fun design she has in the back part of the heel. So she's also hand painted leather. And it looks like sort of a shield that's in, in, engulfed in hand painted etched uh, chain design. So that was really cool. Everybody should know Lilani. Lilani is top 20 also. So she has that same uh, design as far as the rainbow heel on the bottom. And then all this hand painted, hand carved, hand tool design in the different colorations. And you can see her not only in the gray, the white is something that I think is really special because of the, the way the, tur the turquoise pops in there. And then you also have this really nice tan color. But what I want to point out is she's hook and loop on the front where you have full adjustability across the toe, and then she's also hook and loop at the ankle strap. So you have lots of adjustability, and then of course, wonderful colorations, and she is top 20. Remember we talked about Icon in the very, very beginning of the presentation? Well, this was the new upper that we made in Icon. We wanted to keep the solids, and we had Aromas, which was a slightly higher heel, and that was done all in metallics. So you could do the higher heel in metallics, because she's really more of a nighttime. And then you do your all day in your Icon Fleur, which we're looking at right now. And then we have an array of colors in the basic Icon. So some of the features that we're going to talk about is the print. So this leather print is super fun, very floral, really pretty, very feminine. She does have wonderful foot coverage where you just have your peep toe coming out there. All of this great etching and laser cutting. You have a front platform. You have a zip back. And I'm just going to get, just remind you that this is one of our uh, volume heels. She's approximately two and not quite, yeah, about two and a half. And then the platform, the, the platform in the front is like three quarters. So she has, oops, 
Sorry, so she barely has a pitch, as you can see on Angie's foot, and that's what makes her an all-dayer. And now we're going to get into the number one style this past season. So I'm going to lay out all the colors so you can see the array. And the reason, I'm, the reason that we're doing it this, this way this time is we want to give you a really good idea on how it would look on the selling floor. So you know that when you bought all colors, you can see that there's a reason for it. So we'll pull the basic colors in the front. We added a navy here, which has been done extremely well, and that was very well received. And then, then we have the red and the turk, and you know how well we do with reds. The one thing I want to point out is a lot of times our reds show a little tomatoey or a little orangey, but this is a true, true, great, great dark red. We have our signature rainbow stitching, and then all six colors are available. And none of them is duplicative, so they will all look great on the selling floor. Same heel, same construction. We wanted to offer something that didn't have, uh, just like Icon, which is our number one style, but we also wanted to offer something that had um, a little bit, little bit more, let's say, um, classicness. No flowers, but lots of hand painting detail. So Pita, which is on Francis's foot in the turquoise, you can see she's like a blue, a turquoise, a different shade of blue, maybe a little slate. The inside is wonderfully turquoise. And then the outsole, that, that midsole part, is a contrasting sort of textured uh, material, which is super cool. Look how pretty the pink came out. We're really pleased with the colorations of the pink. She does have your stretch gussets on the inside. You have your camel, of course, and then a black gray um, sort of taupey coloration. So for a classic colorations, but not not dum dum is, is what I want to say, you've got wonderful, wonderful painting on the back. Very, very typical L'Artiste hand painting detail design. And all of that rainbow stitching on the front really makes this a standout style with great foot coverage, I might add. We're going to stay with this classic heel, which is the all-dayer. In this particular case, this is called a breeze, and I'm going to focus on this lighter color because she's easier to see. So it's a very interesting construction. We played around with her a lot, and what we came up with was a totally open back. So you can open her up in both one side and then across the top to tighten her up around the ankle. And then she's got almost like a textured box weave design with the hand, with the printed painted floral design on the top. She's got a little bit of laser cutting out. You've got great foot coverage. You've got the all day heel. And then you've got that really comfortable midsole in cork, which your foot will just mush right into and become your all day comfort shoe. OK. This is a really cool um, fashion stylized gladiator. So what I love what I love about her is that she's she's very surprising. So you have a solid front strap. She's studded all over the place. You've also got uh, adjustable ankle straps that crisscross around the ankle in both places. And then the footbed is all lotus flowers, all etched lotus flowers there. And then when you turn her around, you can see the heel is also all studded, and then you have your easy zip in and out. So once you adjust your straps, you just have to really slide your foot in there with all of this great coolness, because that's really how I describe her as a very high-styled, almost fashion-forward gladiator. And then for another type of a gladiator style that's a little bit more funky as opposed to high-style fashion or designer looking, and this is style Salise. So Celise will have adjustability on all straps. I can open them all up. And then what you're going to see is the most cushiony, fun footbed uh, design. She's got all sorts of etched tonal flowers. And I don't know if you can see it. I think you can. You can see the, all the etched designs there. So she's amazingly comfortable. You can see how much I'm pushing through her. She's got a really nice, lightweight, edgy, sawtooth bottom. It's kind of like a flat bottom that comes around where the footbed and the, and the midsole slit, sit inside of that bottom. And then she's got studs on alternating straps. So she's got the studs not only on the second and third straps, and then you have all your hand-painted designs everywhere else. So she's super cool and pretty lightweight and has that stylized gladiator look. Aldina. 
We love Aldina. Aldina is a new construction for us, and one of the things that I want to point out is that she's got sort of a wedge heel effect. You can see that she has that inside stretch gusset. When Francis moved around, you could see that. And then the other thing that I want to point out is look how cool that footbed is. So aside from like all of the amazing, and you can see if I push in there, how you know amazing marshmallowness that she has in that footbed, but she's got an ombre. Um, ombre effect paint all the painted effect all the way around and then the other thing that I want to point out is this um, midsole that comes around so the there's two colors it's a dual color so you have your matching to the upper and then you have your beige and that's that's true and that goes through all the all three colors the hand painting on the upper is beautiful she's got lots of pastel colors the navy is a real standout she's really really dark and I'm I'm of course I love this turquoise color and she has a sibling same construction same style in this case a backstrap she's got amazing foot coverage as you'll see on Angie right now so everything is all hidden in the front you know your your bad parts of your bunion and, and then of course your your little toe at the end, your hammer toes, and look how pretty this buckle is. So the buckle is a, a large and oversized round um, antique buckle with roses and crystals in there, and that makes her very special, plus the butterfly design. So all of that hand-painted butterflies, it's like a rebirth. The edges are all ombre hand-painted. They're stunning. They're absolutely stunning and way, 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 way more comfortable than a sneaker, let's say. That's what our gals are wearing. They're they're moving up. They're moving out of their sort of trainers or their running sneakers, and they're moving into their Laura T. Smart fashion shoes. Sculpted. Okay. So I'm going to give you the measurements first because she's also deceiving with that front platform. To the top of the back of the footbed, she's four inches, and then when you get to the platform, she, to the top, she's about one and a quarter. So she's what two and three quarters somewhere in there. Oh, my math is pretty good, right? And Anthony's laughing. So what you have is a great sling back. You have beautiful ombre hand painted design, and it's almost like a Ferris wheel effect that the the way the hand painting turned out with all of the laser cuts, and then the cork midsole, which is so comfortable after your foot forms to the, the painted inside etched all over Daisy. She's amazing. There's so many great details in her. And oh, one more thing. The back heel, that's all hand painted and all embossed and all etched in there. And that's, again, another special item that we wanted to point out for you. Okay? And there is sculpted. So we're going to take her down a little bit again, and this is style lavanda. So our lower cork styles always do really well for us and also for you at retail. And in this particular case, the lavanda has a lot of mixed media going on. She is hook and loop. This particular gray style has really pretty orange and also the um, antique brass spots in the middle with contrasting matching flowers, and then also a really pretty etched I don't know if you can see her, yeah. You have a really pretty etched leather, um, sort of two-tone basket weave effect um, on both of these colors also. The fuchsia orange and red and green is a really interesting and really high fashion color that's going forward. A lot of the designers show all those nice colors mixed together, the oranges, the reds, the pinks. Her sibling is Beloved. So Beloved is a hook and loop, padded back strap, a really nice asymmetrical design where the leather comes right around both sides in an X design around the side and she's held together just a little bit of um, extra detailing in the antique brass spot. So all of this hand tooling, hand painting, and then you have the applique upper makes her very special and holds the foot really well as you can see on Francis's foot. Oh, and all of the um, our signature rainbow stitching on the footbed is also a real standout for shelf appeal plus the padded backstrap. Roshni. So Roshni is a style that we had in our line. We made her special. Um, she performed really, really well. And we're rolling her out so that everybody can enjoy the sell-throughs here. She's got wonderful foot coverage. You can see her on Angie's foot where the hook and loop closure here has one of our signature, signature painted designs that we do, you know, we do a lot of these types of touches, which is a starburst, lots of different colorations. When you really examine all the hand painting and the etched design that 
um, goes into some of these styles. It's, it's astounding, is, is really what I want to say. You can especially see it on the yellow that Angie's wearing. Of course, you have hook and loop not only in the back strap, but also in the front. And a very, very nice full footbed. So for added comfort, you've got your cork-like bottom, and she's as light as a feather. And a little bit of a chain stitch where the leather, the leather happens to go around the outside of that outsole. Oh, and a lucky horseshoe. Look at that. There's a little lucky horseshoe on the embellished buckle. So I always have fun when I talk about this style because uh, she's so comfortable. We named her Anna. So Anna is just so, she's like, you put her on, you go, ah, and that's how she got her name. And we, we said, oh, we'll just call her Anna. Anyway, she's a carryover for us. And what's so great about her is, aside from the comfort, she's lightweight. She's got that cork. Um, I have her in a previous, in an earlier style, not, not in the Anna, but that was also, should have been called Anna. Um, lightweight, lots and lots of cushioning, cork, full coverage. So for the gal who didn't do her pedicure, who needs to stand on her feet for a full 24 hours without ever sitting down, this is the uh, closed toe sort of clog effect um, that she should be wearing. In this particular case, the ice has the red contrasting. It goes all the way around. So you see that painted um, leather all the way around. And then you have that pretty daisy effect on the top of the vamp. So lots going on here. A little bit of a metallic sheen. So she can be worn a little bit dressier than just a kick or kicking around style. Remember we talked about Tanja early on as one of the best sellers. She was number six. Well, this is her sibling. She's got the same construction. She's called Moai, and Moai has a beautiful upper. She's very special. She might look familiar. We sort of, you know, did a little bit of um, adjustment on Amy, and Amy was so successful also that we wanted to keep her in the family. So we put her on the Tanja upper. The leather wraps right around the outside, so you have a beautiful asymmetrical design. She's got, excuse me, hook and loop. Look at this beautiful rose on the inside. Look how pretty she is. I just, uh, she's very, very special. So you have your bright red. I don't know if she's showing up a little orangey for you, but this is a, it's, it's the perfect red that somebody would want. Then you also have her in the tan and the gray. So you can see, you can easily do all three colors, and this is a volume style, and you can see how pretty the inside footbeds are with that pink fuchsia rose. And here is the Tanja that we were talking about. Still, she's a core item. She's got triple adjustability, each strap with a um, decorative buckle. So adjustability galore with, your, with our signature rainbow stitching. You've got just sort of a classic coloration palette for the gals who just you know have an outfit that might be totally out there and she, you know, she just wants to wear something calm on her foot. This is an all day or it's a 24 hour style. Lots of padding and for those of you who keep reordering her, thank you very much. So look at this style. So this is like, when, when, we were, when we were working on this, we were looking at the cork footbed. And then we started looking at the uppers, and we wanted to do a lot of different colorations here. And we decided that this was like a Jackson Pollock artwork. So the footbed is all about Jackson Pollock. It's like a splat, and see what you came up with. And now you have this beautiful design here on, for, um, for shelf appeal. And then we wanted to add some modern buckles. So we did a more squared off. Uh, sort of like industrial style buckle with a wider strap. You have your adjustability here and also here. So that that is super cool. And then there's your Jackson Pollock uh, design on the inside. And you can see your stud detailing both on the inside and the outside. And the outside is where you have your hand painted flowers that continue right along the outside of each of the colorations. And there's more. So we did a back strap, also a Jackson Pollock style cork footbed. And there's two colorations here. We have the tan and also the blue. I just want to point out one thing that Angie is wearing. Are you wearing the X's, Angie? So Angie is wearing the correct style. The X's will be in the back. That's all our rainbow stitching detail in um, X's for kisses. And then the hand painted cross stitches in the front. This will be the same design. Our, our sample is due in tomorrow, wouldn't you know it? Okay. Bouquet, spelled funny. Oh, this is Brady. So Brady 
is a slide and she has a really cool this remember we talked about this buckle earlier but this one instead of having roses on it it is jeweled with sort of a like a flourish like a spritz on the outside of the jewels she's got strapping that's both metallic and also painted leathers she's got a wonderful um, cork almost driver type style wedge One of the fun styles that we were working on is called Too Cool. So what I wanted to point out about Too Cool is, really, she is really Too Cool, because she's got suede on the inside with, with multicolor appliques in the form of leaves. And on the inside, she's hand-painted um, sort of across the upper. She is totally adjustable. And, and the inside, the footbed, is like a little marshmallow. From tip to toe, she's totally marshmallowed. The sole is a flat form, and then the, um, the outsole is got wonderful, wonderful arch support in there. You can see the leather is snug, your foot is snugly in there. Um, and she has um, sort of a really nice, cool, um, functioning look as far as an all-dayer with fun colors. Anna Maria. She's top 20, she's actually number 16. What felt so good about her and the reason she became such a, a superstar for us is the colorations. So she has beautiful doily effect vintage sort of edging in the two-tone. You'll have like this off-white with the denim blue, a really pretty pastel-y color contrast flower with a cabochon. She has the cork footbed with plenty, plenty of padding. And then the contrast cork and then the hand-painted design on the outsole, on the back part of the heel, that's why she became such a strong seller for us. So your foot is nestled right in there. And of course, the colorations are all amazing. And all three colors are worthy of of real estate in the stores. Karnitsky. We did a style a couple of years ago that had all the lotus flowers, and I'm going to show you her in the back first because she had, we did this applique lotus flower, so it's almost like a yoga, mm, you, could do, you can almost hear the mm, right? Though we did her applique on the back of Karnitsky, but we wanted to make um, her a little higher. We wanted to put her on a really nice wedge. It's like a two-piece wedge. So she's totally wrapped in this great pastel soft floral um, material. And then she's got the leather uppers with all of this hook and loop closure. So she does open all the way up. And then she still has a really nice etched design of um, a stylized lotus flower going on in there. She's really very um, pastel -y and really very pretty and elegant. And there's a lot of metallic um, sort of shine that you can see in there as well. Style Avenue has been a key style for us. Um, every time we try to maybe update her, we have um, our retailers, you guys, so thank you so much, always saying, no, 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 we like Avenue just the way she is. So that's why she continues to stay in the line. She's a winner for us. She's got all different colors. She's got great foot coverage. So for the gals that want both front and back coverage, they don't want to show their heel, you do have your hook and loop, and she it does have a beautiful vintage sort of peep toe effect. Parshell. Number nine style in our line. She's an all year rounder. I'm going to lay out all the colors so you can get a really good vision on how she would look on the, on the selling floor. And you can see why you might need to buy all the colors. So we added two new colors this season. We added a navy and a white. So we feel that they're the perfect accoutrements. And then you have your Turk and a camel. So let's see how, you know, we, if we start laying her out, of course you've got the black, but we have the navy. So navy is a really great new color. It's very hard to find the navies in the market, right? And then you have your basic colors in the back. You've got your, um, your Bordeaux, your black, and your gray here. So just a couple of the details, and I'm going to focus on the two new colors. So she is a lined, perfed, hook and loop, She's got a really nice uh, sort of design, a, a yin and yang sort of wavy dotted wave line in there. And then what makes her so special is our all day volume heel. And you've got some wonderful print, uh, printed material in the back. And a little bit of metallic here and there, but very, very subtle on some of them. Mostly it's more of a, a, a printed flat. Next style is a luta. 
Alukta was a style that we introduced last season, and she also was one of those styles that um, she's on Thule. So for those of you who are familiar with the Thule construction, that's a key item for us, and we run her all, all year round as an annual. But because of the success of Thule, we also wanted to offer you a slingback style that could be an all year rounder in many of the climates also. And you have, you know, your three basic colors, your navy, your red, and your beige. And what you have here is hook and loop with a chain embellished buckle, and then also you have lots of perforations, and even, especially on the tan, you can really see the burnished effect on this laser cut, even on the straps. So that hangs true for each of the colors, but it's the most prevalent in the beige. So Thule, and we're gonna have to open up the screen so you can see all the great colorations here, is another reason for you to see them all together and you can see how wonderfully they'll line up in the store without really without any duplication because what we find here is that our customers end up buying multiple colors um, your customers not our customers but you you're our customers and you buy multiple colors so anyway before I get too crazy here, let me see if I can lay these colors out for you. So we had a new colors that we're adding here. We had the navy, we have the olive, the red, the black, the brown, and the navy, and we added this fantastic white with black detail and also this really pretty beige. So we lightened up the palette for you to not only run your core colors, but also to bring in some of your lighter shades to lighten it up and make it an all year rounder in the store because your gals will, well, will want them all year round. Style Coastal, I love her. I love everything about her. I love the colorations. I love that she's such a loop. I like that she's um, got flowers with really pretty colorations on the upper. I love that she has a flower wrap and the outsole, and that also so that she has a black and white jute wrapped um, bottom part of the outsole, um, and then a really even a sawtooth sole on the bottom. So the two colors that we're showing you here are the gray and the navy. They are just, I think, lovely. I don't know how else to say it. They're, um, they have that more of a darker coloration so the gal can wear her even into the fall. I know it's, um, what is it, Labor Day, you're not supposed to wear white, but then here you have these darker sandals because we have our Indian summers way into the end of September, right, and even into October. And then her sibling, of course, is a back strap with padding. And what's so great about her, aside from the colorations and the same beautiful wrapping, this cabochon roses um, in those really rich fall sort of um, northern colorations, is that she's hook and loop in both straps. So she's front and back. And these antique brass embellishments that you see on both straps, they're really, really delicate, almost Victorian type styling roses with a little bit of flourishing in them. And you can see where you can easily do both colorations on the selling floor. So Zazera is a style that I wear. I wear her a lot. And she's, a, she's got adjust, she's all adjusted. And when I was in, um, I tell this story, I'm sure my friends here are sick of tiring it, but when I was walking in, in uh, Austin uh, last year, I, I hear all, like from every direction, hey lady, where'd you get your shoes? They all loved this style. And they didn't even know that she was adjustable. They just saw that really cool orange outsole. She's lightweight, and then they saw that black and white um, contrasting. She was an all, she's an all day or she's a 24 hour. I could go all night and into the day in her. With that said, we wanted to expand upon this construction and that's where we came up with Naomi Monarch. She's a triple treat of all adjustability. She's got that same comfort out, um, footbed and that also the outsole. So she, in this case, she's not orange and white, but she's black and white. And then you've got your contrast black and white there. She is a butterfly design. So you have your tooled, and your hand painted straps and in the middle you've got a butterfly design and that's the base throughout. On the white color she's got more of a metallic color and then on your, your blue or your olive color she has more of a neutral tone. So we already talked a little bit about uh, Laga. She was number three um, when we talked about her in the beginning of our presentation. She's still going strong. All three colors, she's great. And if you haven't tried her, you do need to. She's got an asymmetrical up the front um, on design on the foot, all hand painting, all contrasting flowers, and you can see why she's so popular when you see her on Francis's foot. Again, 24-hour comfort. 
Demore also was top 20. She's number 17 to be exact. And you can see how beautiful the colorations came out. When we were, when we were developing the colors here, we wanted to do something in a, in a pastel palette. And we really hit her on the nail when we got this sort of mint color and then this navy with the lilac pastel microfiber footbed. She's got butterflies on the inside of the footbed. And the colorations are just beautiful. And you can see where you can easily carry all the colors in the store. She is hook and loop, so you do have adjustability there. And she's all day comfortable as you can imagine just based on how she looks on Francis's foot. New style for us is Kame. She's a printed patent leather and she's pretty cool. She's got hook and loop adjustability on the quarter strap and also on the front strap with this really nice dimensional flower and in the middle of the flower you've got the pistons, pistols that are like all cut up and you know um, sort of wrapped and, and looped not cut up, but they're wrapped in loop, and you have a contrast toe. So here you have in a more of a um, active inspired bottom, and then you've got a midsole, two midsoles really, on top of the active sole. She's super cool and has a lot of um, sort of dressy slash casual um, yin and yang design elements. This style is so lightweight, she's so deceiving. She's, she's unbelievable as far as Maybe she looks like one thing, but when your customers try her on, they're going to be so su happily surprised because she's really lightweight. Look how pretty the footbed is here. You see that beautiful hand-painted rose there. She's lots of padding. Again, that same um, sort of active-inspired look in a tall wedge. And I'm just going to give you an idea on her height. She's three to the top and one and a quarter on the front. So what you're talking about is a not a very high slope, as you can see on Angie's foot, and all three colors. We also did a back strap, which we love, in that same construction. Padded back strap. She, wait till you see her on Frances's foot. She looks beautiful. Um, one of our favorites because of the comfort and just the way she holds the foot in there with all the straps. She covers both sides of the foot wherever you might need, wherever you might have something that, a little something, something you want to cover up. And with that nice T-strap effect up the front, she has sort of a vintage um, but modern look. Oh, and all the way around on this outsole, it's all hand-painted flowers. And that's all the way, so the designs went all the way around. I've, a ton and ton of hand-painted flowers on all four straps. Look at this little girl. She's tilting. Wait till you see her. Look at her on, on, on the foot, on Francis's foot. So she almost has like an, a, a sort of like a Masoni sweater um, uh, herringbone effect on the inside. And then she's got the welt that goes all the way around, that silver welted design all the way around on an active inspired bottom. But when you look at her, I mean, she, it, she's unbelievably lightweight. She's got a boatload, a boatload of, that's all padding that you see here. So anything from the welt up is all padding. She's got a really, really delicate, elegant top strap and just a really beautiful cabochon flower. Um, and also, of course, she's hook and loop here. So she opens up all the way, totally adjusted, and she's so trend right with having a sort of a dressy and casual appeal, and also in that dress that you, it's almost like a, like a stylized Mary Jane, but forward, a little forward up. Marisi is the same construction, but she's done in a triple treat of adjustability. So you have the three colorations, all have the cabochon balls surrounded by um, really pretty flowers that are etched and all hand painted um, straps. So again, your gals, and you can see how well nestled the foot is right in there um, on that nice printed herring, herringbone strap. Okay, Anika, super, super cool, very, very lightweight, um, super lightweight actually. Very flexible, unbelievable padding, a little bit of an active inspiration. I just want to point out one thing on the white. These flowers will be a little bit more vibrant. We thought that they came, they came out a little bit too delicate on this type of a, of, of a sandal, but we wanted you to see how pretty the white looked and how the footbeds are also all hand painted with those pretty flowers on the top. So you've got your camel, your white, and also your really pretty sky blue color and all your triple treat of adjustability hand painting and also you've got your tool designs in the flowers. 
Another active inspired new construction for us is Style Catlina. So Catlina is really cool for a couple reasons. She's active inspired. She's got this really, really cool, let me move her in there. She's got a really cool outsole that kind of zigs and zags in there with almost a, I'm not gonna say a sneaker bottom, but more of an active bottom. And when you open her up, all three places, one, two, three, look at how neat the um, footbed is. Can you see that design in there? So again, great shelf appeal. Really all details are always, we're always paying attention to all the details. We've got studs here, we hand painting, etching, and triple treat of adjustability. Look how pretty the beige came out. And a really nice purple color. Something that your gals don't have in their closet, I would bet. Oh, one more thing. Look at even the back of the, de even the, back of the heel. It has a little bit of a driver heel, and we even hand painted the back of the heel. Okay, another favorite, Alora, love her. So same footbed design where you have that little like swirls and curls and really gentle tone on tone, I'll make like a, a men's dress shirt with that tone on tone design. You've got the hook and loop here and look how cool she looks on um, Francis's foot. So she's got wonderful foot coverage, lots of great coloration. She ma matched every single thing in your gal's closet and she could be worn both dressy and casual. What I want to point out is that the design on the upper, which has a sort of a stylized, leafy, sort of cut out laser cut, it goes all the way around, not only on the outside that you can see it in both places, but also on the back and on the inside. So really cool details, very, very subtle and that nice flower, a dual flower under the cabochon stone. We're also going to talk about our basic casual style. So everybody knows Cayman. I mean, Cayman is, she's, she just, she's the sandal that just keeps on sandaling. And we keep her in our line. Here's the color array. Everybody should be familiar with her. Hook and loop. And then you have all your contrast um, insides with your uh, signature rainbow stitching detail on the footbeds. Amazing comfort, and then everybody knows how lightweight she is and, of course, where she comes from. And her sibling is um, Sumaka. So Sumaka, as you know from the beginning of the presentation, she's our number five style. She's uh, ranked number five. She's got adjustability. I'm just going to show you this here. All three straps. And this is Probably, actually, this is adjustable in the back with a um, with an, a real buckle, and then everything is adjustable here for all the colors. Um, that's why she's number five. She's lightweight. She's got a super cool outsole. Again, your rainbow stitching. And then we wanted to, to add some new uppers to this construction, so we did Pillow Soft. And you can see why we named her that. So we had a style called Pillow that was extremely strong for us. And really what we wanted to do is we just wanted to um, update the colors a little bit. And you can see how pretty they came out. They're really, really just soft pastels with the outsoles matching the uppers. You've got all this pretty coloration as far as grays going with turks and greens, melon um, with blues and pinks, and then the grays with greens and turquoises. And again, you can just see how all three colors would work on the selling floor. Next style is Jolina Daisy, which we've always done really well with. She also has all three, all three straps are adjustable. And you can see, we did it, we added a silver last season and she took out to be, you know, extremely strong like the other colors. But the softness of these colors, so the turk that has a really pretty daisy print in there, and then this really beautiful uh, yellow with some browns and whites, and then even this really nice peachy color with the pinks. All the colors are saleable. And again, you can see why you might want to run all colors because they lay so beautifully next to each other. We also did two new styles for you on a different type of the same construction, but we added a little bit of a color to the bottom of the outsole. So in this particular case where our previous styles, this was a solid color, we wanted to add something a little bit more, a little bit more upbeat, a little bit more colorful. So we added the contrasting outsole to be in um, a floral print. So she's very similar to the um, Cayman style that you saw earlier, except that she's got a multi um, mixture of different, uh, different, different leather materials, including some metallics and a little bit of a shiny cabochon gemstone in the middle of that flower. And then we also wanted to do that same outsole with the contrasting color on the bottom, but we wanted to do her in a backstrap. So she does have a padded 
back strap, and she also has both straps adjustability for your customers um, in a little, almost like a rabbit ear effect right here, that's what it reminded me of, and then of course your little um, pretty embellished antique brass buckle. Style kindness. I'm wearing kindness right now. I wear her all the time. She's my go-to. I love the fact that she's almost like a big toe piece of jewelry in the front. Um, she fits all different size toes. We tried her on everybody and that's what made her um, so comfortable and so perfect. The foot bed here is unbelievable. As you can see on Francis's foot right now, you can see the arch support you have there. And when she turns to the front, you're also going to notice how her foot is nestled right in there. She's snug as a bug in there. Her foot is enveloped in there comfortably. Arch support up to, up to you know what, to crazy. Flowers, I have the pink on. She matches everything in my closet. We did add this particular season, we did add, I think we added the blue this season. Okay, so we have four colorations and we're gonna show you a bunch new uppers on this construction because she is so strong. Okay, one of my faves. I'm going to own her, and I'm going to own her in this peach color. I love her. I love everything about her. I love the fact that she, when I look down, she's joyful because what I see is a really printed, a beautiful printed leather with a really fun, multi-petaled, um, nice centered flower. Simple and fun colorations padded back and also hook and loop here. So hook and loop everywhere, and then look how pretty this footbed is here. So she's etched. She's got a little bit of a contrast, and um, this is going to be in my closet in, for sure, this color, maybe the Turk. And continuation with the next style on this footbed. This is style Chima, and Chima is going to be adjustable and all four straps. And we have, I wanted to point out one thing that you won't see. We darkened this purple strap a little bit, so she's going to be more of this shade, somewhere in between. And then we have a slide because we wanted to show you how great we updated this top strap. And we just want to show it to you really quick so you'll see that. You see that front strap now? In the, it's not going to be a solid white like we have on our sample here. We added a little bit of gray um, paint so that you could see a bit of contrast in that strap. So Chima is one of our favorites. She's one of those styles that you're gonna also wanna um, probably get in multiple colors because she'll be the perfect fit for everybody. Okay. Um, Actionetta, same construction. You can see unbelievable comfort. All the straps will be adjustable. Padded back, stall, um, back strap and cabochon extra strap here and multiple um, antique brass embellishments there. This has been getting amazing reaction, the Kalina. Um, unbelievable. Uh, you guys have been booking her like crazy in both colors. And I think maybe it's because not only of the comfort of this with the contrasting outsole and that nice arch support, but I think what you also love about her is the adjustability and the colorations. And that's what's been, I think, driving the business here. She looks really cool and very earthy and amazingly comfortable because she even has that extra arch support there. And her sibling that we're gonna show you right next is Erica Spring. And she also has adjustability in three places, also in the back strap. So you have that same great contrasting footbed or the outsole, the flexibility in the sole. She's got a real active inspired look. And you all love this, these nice, flowers that are at the top. So they're really um, sort of uh, eccentric, you might say, as far as flowers, because they're sort of contrasting floral um, design. Amy is a bestseller. So she was number 14 for us, and we added a new color. We added this great um, beige color, this beige two-tone. So she looks a little bit familiar. We had the same upper in a higher wedge earlier on. And she also opens up all the way, and you can see a really nice um, contrasting flavored footbed and all these great colors so you've got um, a really nice sort of rainbow coloration effect here the brown and also this nice camel she's got a wavy outsole and that's what made her so special and she was a sleeper her reorders were amazing 
a super duper comfortable footbed for us, and this is in Calamity Jane. So we have a style that remember in the beginning called Astra and Popular. This is the same construction, lightweight, really cushiony, really soft. This is a combination of a great, really oversized, fully embellished um, buckle, very, very large buckle, and lots of metallic, rainbow stitching, great foot coverage, but what we really want to point out here is this, this is our number one and number, our number two rather, and number eight best-selling construction. So we wanted you to see the new upper there in Calamity J and also in Colette. So Colette has a, a more of an athletic sort of outdoorsy vibe where you can see on this slider strap here that she's got um, a lot of adjustability that you can loosen her and tighten her up and then you also have your hook and loop here and across the toes. That same construction that we talked about earlier, um, great sort of painted straps along with a canvas type print. Here's what we were talking about in Astra. This is our number, ranked number eight. So you have your braided strap here with your two adjustable straps in the three colorations, which we're going to go forward with in your tan, your blue, and your red. And then also your number two style, which is style popular. So here you have your hook and loop, not only in the front strap, but also in the asymmetrical, uh, also in the uh, ankle strap, and she has an asymmetrical braid. So this is all hand tooled, and this front strap is basket, and also what you see here is a padded back strap. So she was a super winner, thanks to all of you. Okay, here's your next winner, you guys. This is Delilah. So Delilah, again, is that same construction that we've just been talking about. All four of these straps are adjustable. I'm gonna show you this coloration. So you can see that she is that same construction that we've been talking about, and all straps open up all the way, and then she has that center um, sort of fastener that keeps everything all lined up. Everybody loved her. She's on just about every order that we worked when we were at the shows. Um, and you can see that these are alternating braided straps and alternating uh, hand-tooled straps. Okay. Hey guys, we've uh, we've got about 20 styles left to go, so hopefully you guys can hang on till we get to the end. It shouldn't be much longer, uh, so hopefully you're able to. If you're not and you need to, to bounce off, uh, the presentations are going to be posted on the website to you, so you could re review that last section. But uh, just give us a few more minutes and we'll be uh, we're ready to go. Like I said, about 20 styles and we'll be good. Thank you. You, you guys know you guys know me. You know how wordy I get and how much love I have for all the development that we have here. And um, you know, part of the part of our job here is to make it difficult for you to narrow down your selections. And that's you know that's a job well done, right? Because you don't really need anybody else if you got us. So Santorini, Santorini has been in the line for a long time. She's one of our strongest styles. She continues to just get filled in by most of our retailers. They don't want to let her go. And one of the reasons I would suspect is because of her stitched construction. She is a toe, um, a toe loop item. She's a slide. She also has this adjustable strap, but she's not, she's not hook and loop. And that's, you know, funny that it's such a bestseller and she's not hook and loop. But you can see the shelf appeal that she has also because all of the nice hand painted flowers go all the way around, not only the footbed, but also the outsole. Style Lay. She was a top 20. As a matter of fact, she is number 20. She's been in the line. She continues to sell. She's got a cork-like bottom. She's very flexible. She's got lots of um, strapping, adjustability, and some beautiful etching designs also on the footbed. We, the feedback that we get here is that she's probably one of the most, uh, this is one of the most um, comfortable constructions. But we also have a new construction. And this one is called, we're starting with brash. So I really like brash, and I like brash for a lot of reasons. I especially like the brown. So look at, look at how pretty she looks on Angie's foot. You've got an asymmetrical look. You've got these sort of sparkly, a combination of a sparkly cabochon there, and then you have your solid cabochon in the blue coloration. But you've got multiple petaled flowers, and then you have um, the hook and loop closure on all three. She's a little bit higher. She's got some really nice um, X's, kisses on the footbed, lots of padding, lots of support, 
and light as a weight, light as a feather, with the leather walking right around the outsole, all the way around inside and out, where you've got your hand painted and hand tool design. Her sibling, of course, Janella with a back strap. Janella is also hook and loop in both the front strap and also the ankle strap. And again, these really nice sort of dark, rich colorations in both the blue and the brown. You've got all of this nice hand-painted floral and leaf design here, and you've got a cabochon in the center of a laser-cut dual-layered flower. Style Augie was a clog that we introduced. She's still doing really well. For the gals who like clogs, uh, as I do, and don't want to do their petty that particular day, or maybe it's a, sort of a nasty, um, rainy day, um, and even into the winter, so gals will wear these with their socks. Lightweight, you've got your inside stretch gore, and she's feminine for a clog. She's really dainty, she's got great flowers, all hand painted, and then she's got the inside stretch gore, which I think I might have mentioned. Okay. Style Desi. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to get all the colors in here. Doug, what do you think? You're going to get all our colors? I need two rows, right? Okay. So here we have Style Desi. Um, you can see the beautiful array of colors. Um, she does make a beautiful bouquet. You can do a wonderful, uh, really nice presentation in the stores. For those of you who haven't had her, you do, you do know how stretchy she is, how comfortable. The flower is just one big mush of petal. And then you have her also in just about every color under the sun. Okay. And because of the success of Desi, and she is our number 12 style for the company, we also wanted to add um, some updates to Desi, and we're calling her Desi Garden. So one of the things that's really fun about Desi Garden is they're printed. So we have a really nice black and white. We all know that black and whites do extremely well, um, not only in the winter, but uh, not only in the summer, but also in the winter, all year round, depending on where you are. And Desi is an all year rounder. She's an annual style for us. So we also did another style with butterflies and really pretty flowers. Um, more lilies than butterflies, but they sort of reminded me of, a, of the flutter of a, of a wing. And then this is a very subtle tone on tone. So it's a dark navy, and she's got a little bit of a metallic sunburst, uh, starburst, or a fireworks effect. So those are your three new colors in Desi. We also have the Danley Bloom, which is a key item for us. She's also annual. You can see the color array here. Okay, all colors are great, all key styles. You know once you lace her up, all you have to do is then zip yourself in. So for the gals who need a little bit of extra room, you know that you can lace her in. She even has a, um, a keeper in the middle so that the, the tongue doesn't sort of slip over to the side one or the other, that's so annoying, right? The tongue is padded, the back is padded, you've got your contrast floral design and then also your tool design in the back. And that's Danley Bloom. Another clog or another slide is Copa. Copa's been in the line for a while. She's also another key item for us. We do super well with her all year round. I actually wear a, um, a, a cousin of Copa in this particular style. She, your foot nestles right in there, as you can see when Frances turns. Her foot is right in there, nestled really safely. She's got uh, stitching, our rainbow stitching, all along the top strap. So your foot is nestled nicely in there and you don't have to worry about your pedicure. Cassandra Floor is another basic style for us. She has a really nice cookie arch support in there. Closed shoe, both front and back, Mary Jane style. Mary Janes are hot as a pistol right now in the market. They will continue going, going forward into spring. Um, we may have availability here now. This is a key style. It should be in everybody's selling floor in some form or another, particularly because of we, we know our construction is so comfortable in the Cassandra floor where you have your contrast um, sort of etched open flower design. So everybody should know Labora. Labora was our solid style. That's the solid style that we've always done super, super well with. But because of the success of the Labora construction, we wanted to do something special for her in a flowered hand-painted design. And this, we, we hit the bullseye on this particular one. So Labora Delight, especially in the lighter two colors, the, the off-white is amazing. The arch support, the comfort factor here, the removable footbed, you can see the arch support that's in there. She's so comfortable, so flexible. Um, she's an all-dayer, full foot coverage, inside and outside V, v stretch gores, um, should be on every order. You've got 
all year to sell a style like this. And then of course, Labora and all the basic colors. There you have her. So she's also an annual, and you can see that you could do her in black, camel red. Then you also have the navy, a gray, and also a taupe. So gray colorations, that same, this construction that we just showed you in the Labora Delight. Gloss. Gloss is a key item for us. Again, lots of colorations. We added two new colors this season, I believe. We added the beige and also the navy. So we have all your core colors and then these two fantastic colors. So again, Mary Janes. Everybody should have Mary Janes on the floor. So where these two colors may not be available right away, you do have the option of an annual Mary Jane all year round. Super flexible, all day comfort, wonderful foot coverage, hook and loop, all sorts of support in there, even the leather going on the outside and a driver type rubber bottom. Also like rubber bottom, which is very slip and skid uh, resistant, which is always a good thing. Style Americana, we talked about her in the very beginning. She was a top 10 style. And for a new style, we were really pleased with how, how she performed and how much you loved her. So thank you for that. She, what we did for we took the original style gloss and we just did some really pretty perfing design on the upper. We added a really pretty new embellishment on the strap. And we did some ombreing also for the colorations. Look, you can mostly see how pretty she is and the effect that um, you see on Angie's foot. And also a, another, another great navy. And that is Americana number 10. Same construction is Chante in a clog. So that same hand-painted design that we showed you in the Labora Delight, especially in this off-white color or this light beige, um, you can really see the hand-painting designs on there and also in the camel. Um, all the way around the hand-painting and you can see that the leather goes right around the bottom of that rubber flexible outsole. Okay, everybody's familiar with Burbank. I'm gonna lay the colors out. Burbank is an annual for us and she is super duper comfortable. I like to call her the marshmallow closed clog. So everybody should be familiar with our Burbank. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because the next style is also on the Burbank construction and she is called Aneria. And Aneria is again that Mary Jane style that we've been talking about. So another great style for you to try in case you wanted to and you've never tried the Burbank, this would be a, an ideal place to start because the, our girls seem to like to slip their feet into something that's easy to get on and off. Um, I wear my Mary Jane style, I have one that has flowers on it, and I wear her with socks and also barefoot. Um, she's an all dayer, I, I take her a lot to the trade shows because I'm on my feet all day and she's super cute and amazingly comfortable. The other thing that I want to point out here in this particular case is she has a little pretty bit of a, a sweetheart neckline. So that gives her something a little bit more special, that little sweetheart. And then of course we have Chino, which is on the same construction. So you have Burbeck, Chino, and Anaria, and that's the family. All your core basic colors, it's walking on a marshmallow. Now we're going to go into our stylized sneaker category and we're going to start with Bodies. Bodies is one of my favorites. Um, you can put like little jewels or little pins um, in the holes here. Um, it's all leather on the upper. She's got some um, nice open sort of stripes on the outside, some leather. She's got metallic shoelaces and check out the outsole. Okay, I can see it. She's super cute on this outsole. It's a light sort of beigey. She's got tulips and stylized abstract flowers all throughout and you can see the entire bottom of the sole. Um, she's a little bit taller as far as that and she's really, really comfortable. Again, you can wear her with socks and without. Den of Eden is a style that we are carrying over. She has a wonderful footbed. She's um, a clothes style, sort of that you know surfing type style that she's got. Look at the foot, look at the um, insole here. She's got a, a really, really um, uh, adept uh, insole arch support going on there. And then if you gals need to put their own their own footbeds in there, they can. You have dual stretch gussets on the outside and a little pull tab. Look at this next girl. 
So she's a little higher. That's what's happening. The sneakers are getting more and more comfortable. They're getting more uh, colorful. Uh, running shoes are pretty much de passe for our gals. They're, they're wearing more stylized sneakers like these. So this is style Kathy. And her footbed is super duper padded and comfortable, but look at the outsole. Fun, fun, fun. She's almost like a Peter Max uh, Beatles sub, um, yellow submarine type of a, a painting, right? Where you can see all these different colors, um, a little bit of a psychedelic bottom. And then she's got uh, rounded sort of stretchy laces and almost a sequin effect on the top. So you, ha so you have a little bit of a shine. Next style is Amelie. She has got a paper bag bottom. Um, when I say that, more like a newspaper bottom print. And you can see that um, she's got some ridges in there that you can see through. She has handwriting. There's embroidery here on a sequined lace. So underneath here, this is embroidery on lace and the sides are also lace on both sides. You've got a padded bottom um, collar in the back and also a padded tongue. She's super cute and her She's got like a far cousin. She's also on that same bottom, but her name is Cabaret and she's in pink. So you have like peaches, pinks, almost like a little bit of a light turquoise and a metallic flat cotton lace. Also style Jazzy. We, we did Jazzy last season. She was a real winner. She did so well that we added this really pretty beige. What I love the best about her is the hand-painted uh, pinwheel design. You also know that she's got that side zipper, so you can open her up for adjustability and then zip yourself in here. And look how pretty the um, bottom is. Look how pretty the sole is. So that goes all the way around. She's got a really sort of um, pretty feminine, just lightly painted floral sole. Then we have Daisy May, and we called her Daisy May because there's all hand, hand um, embroidered with a little center of a metallic gold on the center of each daisy, and that's on a um, mesh, like all underneath here is a mesh. And then she has all of this leather padded back, and then you have that newspaper print on the sole. And last but not least, you guys, thanks for sticking with me, is Style Zingy. So Zingy was a sleeper. We have matching handbags to her, too. And anybody who brought in the Zingy sold out and reordered because she did so well, um, even with the handbags. So we started with the blue and the orange. And then this may not be in your catalog because she was a late addition, but we added this really beautiful gray multi. And she's kind of like an ice white with tints of, depending on how, it's the Aurora, Aurora Borealis. Ah, I said it. Um, you can see here that when you change the lights, you can see how she turns into blues, whites, pinks, and lilacs. And there you have L'Artiste.